so for this problem we have a particle that's moving in circular motion and we know that it's circular motion because magnetic forces always point in a way such that it is perpendicular to the motion, to the direction of the motion. So that's why we know that the magnetic field has to result in circular motion because it provides the centripetal force. So you have a particle that's moving with velocity v. And because it's moving in, in circular motion, we know that for this slice of sort of displacement given in the problem, this is actually part of a sector, which is part of a circle with radius r. And then it has a charge of q, and then since we're given that the magnetic field, which is equal to b, is pointing into the page, and that the particle is traveling in such a direction, we know that we can deduce that q has to be positive, because otherwise it would veer in the opposite direction. So knowing that the magnetic force provides the central pedal force, we can actually set up an equation. So the centripetal force is equal to the magnetic force, which is equal to Q times V times B. And we can cancel out the V, so MVQBR. So essentially we're kind of done here, but we're actually not given the R in the problem, we're only given A and D. So let's try to express R in terms of A and D. So notice that this is actually a rectangle if we draw it like this. So this length here is D. So this must be r minus d. So this section here must be r minus d. And then this length here is just a, right? So by the Pythagorean theorem, we know that a squared plus r minus d squared is equal to r squared. And then using this, we can derive the value of r. So a squared plus d squared is equal to 2rd r is equal to a squared plus d squared divided by 2d. So the momentum of the particle, which is what we're looking for, is equal to this expression, which is our answer.